five, four, three, two, one. Liftoff of the final Delta II, launching nearly three decades of science research and exploration missions, lifting ISAT-2 on a quest to explore the polar ice sheets of our constantly changing home planet. Seconds into flight. 30 seconds in, Mach 1, Delta 2 is now supersonic. Continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS 27, both veneer engines as well, uh, seeing consistent uh, fuel and oxidizer injector pressures as well. And at T plus 46 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Seven seconds in, we have wet burnout on the uh, solid rocket motors, seeing good responses. And we have burnout on all four motors. To, and Delta will hold on to those motors for an additional 20 seconds prior to jettison. Now one minute, 20 seconds in, standing by for motor jettison. And we have good indication Indication of jettison of all four all solid rocket motors. Now one minute, 30 seconds into flight. Continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS-27, good chamber pressures on both veneer engines as well. Being stable pressures on the uh, fuel and oxidizer injector pressures. Vehicle body rates uh, looking stable. Now one minute, 55 seconds into flight. And two minutes, 10 seconds in. And the booster bi-level charge is fired to maintain necessary ullage pressure in the booster. LOX tank ullage pressure response looks good. Two minutes, 25 seconds in. The booster is now beginning powered flight guidance. Body rate response looks good. And just under two minutes now remaining until MECO. And at two minutes, 45 seconds into flight, continuing to see good performance on the RS-27 main engine and uh, good chamber pressures on both veneer engines as well. Vehicle body rates remain very stable. Now passing three minutes into flight. Continuing to see good haulage pressures on the uh, fuel and oxidizer tanks. Good uh, fuel and oxidizer inlet pressures as well. And now one minute remaining until MECO. Three minutes, 30 seconds into flight. RS-27 continuing to perform well. Stable chamber pressure and fuel and oxidizer injector pressures and seeing good stable pressures on both veneer engines. Now passing four minutes into flight. Approximately 20 seconds remaining until engine cutoff. And booster has stopped active guidance in preparation for MECO. Standing by for engine cutoff. And we have cutoff of the RS-27. Vernier engines continuing to burn. As expected, standing by for veneer engine cutoff. And we have good veneer engine cutoff. And now four minutes, 45 seconds into flight. We've seen good uh, 
Good separation of stage one and two and good ignition on the second stage. Four minutes, 55 seconds into flight. Chamber pressure on the AJ-10 looks good. Body rate's looking good. And we have good indication of fairing jettison. And this first burn of today's mission will last approximately 6 minutes 15 seconds.